Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. Now that all our levels are up, we can just simply create our grid lines. But before that, we need to insert our AutoCAD file. So how to insert an AutoCAD file in our Revit? So we need to go to our first floor plan view. So we just need to double click here. Then this one is our floor plan view. So here we will insert our AutoCAD, which is the first floor level. So there are two types of inserting an AutoCAD file inside the Revit, which we can find in our ribbon insert. There's link CAD under link panel and an import CAD under import panel. So these two are both tool to insert an AutoCAD file inside the Revit. But the other one, which is the link CAD, is the more proper uh, type to be used for a floor plan CAD file. Because most of the time, these CAD files are getting some updates from our designers. So if you have a continually updating of your floor plan, it is better to use a link CAD because it's like an external reference in AutoCAD file. So whenever they update or the AutoCAD team update any floor plans or any plan view of the project, you can simply ask a copy of it and then clean that files with the same origin, then you just have to reload it. So once the updated CAD file is there, you will see the di differences from your model and you can update it quickly. Unlike the import CAD, when you use an import CAD, it will be difficult for us to delete or remove this without uh, deleting the actual uh, physical CAD file that is inside the Revit. So if you have multiple views already, it will be a very difficult job to remove it. Whereas in LinkCAD, if you have to remove the CAD file, I just need to manage the links and then I'll just cancel this one first then I'll just go to CAD formats then I'll just have to remove it using the manage links so that's why for this instance for the for every CAD file that are really for levels uh, or level reference it should be a link CAD not an import CAD okay now we will link our CAD file for our first floor plan so link CAD click the link CAD, look for your folder CAD links and then the architectural plan first story so for you guys if you want this CAD file I will put the Dropbox link below or the uh, Google Drive link below I will give you this CAD file the cleaned up file already so that you can have your uh, reference for this project as well so by the way I just have to thank our my good friend architect Alpa Abaya for this CAD file it's really a, a blessing to allow me to use your CAD file for this kind of project and for this kind of training thank you so much and yep so we we'll go insert our architecture plan first story or first floor plan so these are the tools or the window for your ins or linking the AutoCAD files. So I have to highlight the most important CAD files or the most important uh, portion of this uh, window, which is the current view only. This one is a very, very important tool. Current view only is used especially when you are inserting a view specific uh, CAD file like for example this CAD file which is first story it's a first story plan that doesn't need to appear on the second floor or on the ground level or on the roof level worst is in the elevation sections and 3D so when you are inserting a 2D view 
or 2D plan view, 2D elevation view, 2D section view, you must click the current view only. Because if not, I will show you, so don't follow with first. I will show you what will happen if I just click the CAD file and do anything. I don't mind anything about the settings. I'll just click open. So it may look correct, but it's not. Because when I go to second floor and I, g I don't have any CAD file, correct? I will just go VV and as you can see under import categories there will be an architectural plan first story that DWG that doesn't appear in my view but it's here okay worst is if I go to my elevation there will be a line here that are different colors so you can see that this is the CAD file that we inserted because if you uncheck the current view only it will be a 3d CAD file so it's not good because if you nope. have multiple stories you have multiple CAD files in one 3d view which is not helpful so so for for us to maximize the use of Revit don't do this a lot of modelers are use or are doing this which is very very painful so uh, the best practice in inserting the AutoCAD file so I'll just have to undo this command so import vector yep there so I'll just go and command again the link CAD to catch up with you guys. So going back, I'll click the architectural plan first story. Then I will check the current view only. Okay. Then once it, this one is checked, we can go straight to the positioning. So positioning is uh, the origin of the AutoCAD going to the origin of Revit. That's why at the earlier videos, I told you that I did set the proper origin in AutoCAD to a 0, 0 on the upper left hand corner of the boundary line. So the project origin is, that's, is that corner. So I did set up my project origin there. So in Revit, it should go to the project base point on the lower left uh, the upper upper left hand corner of the boundary line should go to the project base point of our Revit project okay so the rest are just a minor settings that it's up to you how you can uh, how you wanted your Revit to be appearing so I will explain to you what will be the colors colors will be the color of your layers so either you just preserve the AutoCAD colors or you want to invert it because CAD files is dark side and the Revit is the white or the lighter side so it's up to you if you want to invert the colors so preserve I always use preserve so to avoid confusions of different colors corresponding to AutoCAD or if you are inserting a detail you want it to be black and white you can just click the black and white so most of the time I'll just preserve so layers if it's very uh, straightforward all or just the visible layers in the AutoCAD file or you can just simply specify if you if you memorize all the layers that are inside the AutoCAD file <coughs> so for this one either either of the two so I use all then import units um, though there's an auto detect it's also good but I always specify the millimeter so so that it will be just more uh, uh, just to be sure it's a that it's in millimeter so but I know that the fact that the AutoCAD file that I'm using is a millimeter units CAD file 
okay then we just leave the correct lines that are slightly off axis because there's some lines in AutoCAD that are not really not literally with a Z value but some uh, off lines that are not really straight so we'll just keep it then click open so once you click open you can see that the CAD file is there and when you click the 3d view the default 3d view here there's no CAD file so we're all good okay so first floor so this is my CAD file now I told you that it should fall to the project base point this corner should fall on the project base point but how we can see the project base point in our first floor the project base point is only visible by default in the site view but I want to see it in the first floor plan view so what to command is VV so VV or visibility graphic overrides Th there's two command for this one it's either VV or double double V or VG for visibility graphic overrides then I'll go look for the site you can sc scroll down to the site this is alphabetically arranged or when you click anywhere and then click the S it will go to the first S category and then it's easily to go to the site category so we just need to expand the site and look for the project base point and the survey point check the element and then click OK there so the origin of the uh, AutoCAD is matching the origin of the Revit by the way this symbol is a very hard to get symbol because when you zoom in it's getting smaller when you zoom out it's getting bigger so it's the opposite of the zoom so you don't when you want to see the the closer look of the of the project base point you have to zoom out not zooming in okay yep so that's how you will insert your AutoCAD file if you're inserting a view specific CAD file so this exercise is for the first floor I want you guys to insert the second floor level and the roof level so I will give you the AutoCAD file I will put the uh, CAD file under the description of this video and you go try to insert on your own the second floor and the roof plan so thank you guys this will be the end of this video so I'll talk to you guys soon for the uh, next portions of this or so then to, to the next update of this video we will build this house up to the uh, roof and then we will create the sheets for this project as well matching what architect alpha have in the PDF or in the AutoCAD file all right so we'll talk to you guys soon So if you like the content of our lecture series, please click the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button to follow our lecture series. Talk to you soon!